how to achieve good marginal adaptation with composite resins. Let me share some quick tips with you. Don't forget to save it. Don't forget to share it. Achieving optimal marginal adaptation with composite resins is crucial for the longevity and success of dental restorations. Poor adaptation can lead to micro leakage, secondary caries and restoration failure. So let's begin. Incremental layering technique. Applying composite resins in small increments about 2 mm thickness allows for better control over polymerization shrinkage. Each layer should be individually cured before adding the next. This method reduces the C factor, decreasing internal stresses and enhancing marginal integrity. Preheating the composite resins. Warming composite materials to approximately 68 degrees before placement decreases its viscosity, improves the flow and adaptation to the cavity walls. Preheated composites exhibit better marginal adaptation and increases the micro hardness upon curing. Use of flowable composite liners. Applying a thin layer of flowable composite resin as a liner can enhance the adaptation, especially in areas with complex geometries. Flowable composites have lower viscosity, allowing them to fill the micro irregularities and reduce the voids at the interface. Selection of low shrinkage composite materials. When you choose composite resins that are formulated to exhibit lower polymerization shrinkage, it significantly improves the marginal adaptation. These materials reduce the risk of gap formation between the restoration and the tooth structure. Optimized curing techniques. Implementing a soft start or pulse curing techniques can minimize the polymerization stress. These methods gradually increase the light intensity, allowing for more controlled polymerization and reducing the potential for marginal gaps. Proper isolation and moisture control. Maintaining a dry operative field is essential for optimum bonding and marginal adaptation. Use of rubber dam and careful moisture control prevents contamination that can compromise the adhesive interface. Use of appropriate instruments. Utilizing instruments designed for composite placement such as those with non-stick surfaces, ergonomic designs, facilitate precise adaptation of the material to the cavity walls and margins. By integrating these techniques and considerations into clinical practice, dental professionals can enhance the marginal adaptation of composite restorations. Remember, my dear friends, achieving optimum marginal adaptation with composite resins is crucial for longevity and success of dental restorations.